Do you mind reading uh, the poem Chipmunkian? I have a number of poems in this book about uh, that are prompted by animals. Mm -hmm. uh, but the chipmunk is one of the most concise animals I've ever seen. No wasted motion, compact, busy. And as I say in the poem, I've never in my life seen a dead, tired, or fat chipmunk. <laughs> so here's the poem, part one. He follows his nose to anything that smells edible. He squats like a catcher, clutches a nut, and munches. When he tunnels, he tunnels for one. Never wasting a step, he knows exactly what's ahead, behind, above. With cheeks plumped or slack, he shows how cheeks can store the nut he munched. Why ask if chipmunks serve a purpose other than the perfect way they munch and store? At least they prove perfection at ground level or below is possible. Part two. Seeing a single chipmunk dead, fat, or asleep is rare. They have no time for such. Right now or what's next is all they know. Compact as a change purse, they nose the ground, glance up, dart left, skitter or flex erect. Dinosaurs have gone to extinction. Hippos are soon to follow. Chipmunks foretell how the meek shall inherit the earth. That is a delightful poem, and uh, the 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 phrase uh, "the not yet munched" is a very Hazo Hazoian uh, <laughs> construction. <laughs> That's like that's like very typical of your your syntax, mm -hmm. uh, and it is compact in itself. What seems, what is. Not that it matters. Skyscrapers in Hudson Yards may dwarf the desert towers in the Emirates. So what? All those who batten on irrelevance can feast on that. Let rocketeers rename the moon, establish malls on Mars, and conjure floating cities in the sky. What difference will it make to killers in uniform who boast of bombs that prophesy extinction? It seems if soldiery is the norm, then wartime killing will stay the alibi for murder. It seems unending. As one who thinks that love and all its bravery can mock the follies of this world, I see how disappearance lets the unforgettable endure. What, what lasts recalls what's lost. My wife's smile was love and bravery combined. It made our kind's unkindness something to defy. The world is less without her. And so am I. That poem makes a beautiful, unexpected turn uh, from its sardonic uh, opening. Uh, but I love the 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 lines, uh, the little comments in there, um, the way they break break up the rhythm of the poem. Uh, in particular, the line "It seems unending" is a great is a great transition on a rhythmic level as well as conceptually because then you get to what persists Thanks. um yeah it's it's a beautiful turn there um and and again you get this this theme that we've been discussing of uh kind of the the something that's past and yet is still present almost because it's past in a way because it's a complete experience mm -hmm. i'd like to i'd like
conclude, if I may, with a poem that you didn't name, but I, I like it because it's, how shall I say, it's not sarcastic, but it's uh, whimsical enough not to be dismissed lightly. Okay. It's called When Being Rude Seems Right. Oh, good. Whenever he says, I'm really 25, not 26, because I was sick for a year, we smile. That's just his way. If he meets someone who says, how do you do? He answers, do what? Whether asked or not, he claims no one visits a restroom to rest. And phased by football millionaires, he murmurs, he murmurs, boy men at play for pay. Regarding fashion, burlesque with a price tag. His opinion of beards, they hide the face of stubble, someone too lazy to shave, of tattoos, skin deep doodles, of modern poetry, sociology and stanzas, Ma mocked and dismissed because he offends, he says, each day we're here to be offended. His thoughts on war, everyone loses. And peace, really? And life, it's what we're missing. Is that inspired by a particular person? Yes. You know, he was a student, a uh, fellow student of mine at Notre Dame, and he began, they were each, each of us were in a speech class, had to give a talk. And his first line was, uh, I'm 20, I would be 21, but I was sick for a year. <laughs> and he said it without a smile. And we kept thinking, what do you mean? By that? <laughs> <laughs> that's great. After that, he had the audience in his hand. Well, that's another of your poems uh, sort of filled with little uh, pithy uh, sayings, which uh, is an interesting, it's an interesting way of, putting together a poem, uh, but it, but it conveys a unified personality. Sam, uh, thank you so much for, uh, coming on the show. Um, I really, I really appreciate your time. Once again, it was, uh, I, it was overdue to have you return. Anytime. I enjoyed talking to you. It might be a, an appropriate ending. It's called responses. Okay. Trying to define a peninsula, one historian settled for almost nearly an island. Somehow that sounded better than the usual. Asked how he felt during bouts of diarrhea, one boy answered like I was sitting on an arrow. Ordered to retire after having spared his supervisors the scandal they deserved, he had no option but silence. His ongoing penance was to pray daily for the Jesuit order. Informed that his Renault was totaled, he heard the medic ask him how he felt. Malheureusement bien. Injured or not, the French give irony its due. Ever the envier, Iago called the total embrace of lovers, the beast with two backs. The lovers ignored and pitied him. Rhetoric, said Yeats, is the will trying to do the work of the imagination. Don't send a poem, John Charty warned, on a prose errand. Cruelty, noter, noted, Thornton Wilder is a failure of the imagination. All three were speaking differently alike. Wounded by dementia, a retired linebacker said, anyone who plays for pay is earning profit for the owners. Then he said it again because 
they forgot he'd said it, informed that Cardinal Ottaviani opposed his reforms, Pope John countered, if he is telling the truth, we should listen. Ottaviani said nothing more. Invited to the States after receiving the Nobel Prize, Vislava Zimborska politely responded, Madame Zimborska will come when she is younger.